end of his uh, reign. <sighs> a few weeks ago, when we had lost to Spurs uh, 3-0, the players looked as though they were playing for Mourinho. They really did, but today, it really doesn't seem like that. Like None of the players really cared, even when we went 2-0 down. And when that happens... The manager takes the rap and yeah, it looks as though it's the end for Mourinho. Uh, whether that comes this week, probably not. A couple more bad results, the board will probably end up sacking him then. But yeah, when the players have given up, there's nothing you can do as the manager. It doesn't matter if you're Jose in, you're Jose out. He's going to go soon. Um, so yeah, we've just got to look to the future. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't do a Derby uh, match review. But uh, yeah, I was watching that in a pub. I didn't get back. Uh, to late anyway and obviously well it was a shit result everyone knew what was going to happen as soon as Phil Jones stepped up to take his pen but yeah questionable lineup from Mourinho really did backfire today uh, playing about seven midfielders um, he's played some weird formations before weird players um, in a system that doesn't seem to make sense and it's worked and you know I thought this was going to be one of those times it's happened so many times where, you know, questions are being asked and then he'll do something out the blue uh, and completely absurd and somehow manage a win. But today, we never looked like winning. From the first second, West Ham dominated us, to be honest. Uh, it's embarrassing saying that because they're not doing great this season. Yeah, they're, you know, obviously they're 8-0 winning the Cup. They've got a, a string of good results now and obviously this will probably provide momentum to them. But coming into the game, they were 17th. And we went to uh, sit back, absorb pressure and hit them on the counter really, like sit back and defend and uh, yeah, it's just, it backfired for Mourinho, it really did, um, playing McTominay as a centre back just did not work, uh, isolating, well obviously by he didn't even play but yeah he's on the bench, uh, completely removing Alexis from the, uh, from the score, fair enough, uh, that's understandable. One thing that confuses me about that though, we went with a system that Alexis actually flourished in in preseason today and we haven't played that in the Premier League up to now when Alexis is completely dropped alongside Lukaku in a 3-5-2 I think that's what it is it's hard to differentiate what the formation was today but um yeah he probably would have done you know decent but uh, he deserved to be dropped of course um he's been poor for quite a while Lingard was removed from the team as well as was Valencia both have been poor for a while now um. Yeah, it's 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 just it's horrible. But as I say, West Ham uh, like five minutes in Zabala. Yeah, the goal was offside, but it's defending, man. Like you, you can't let that happen. Like the the defending was absolutely woeful. Zabaleta, uh, thirty eight year old. I'm joking. He's not thirty eight, but you know what I mean. Like very old player, and uh, putting in a great cross for Felipe Anderson to tap it in, and. Uh, yeah, it was shortly made 2-0 with a deflected goal and luckily it hit off Lindelof, uh, so it probably went down as an own goal. Um, and then in the second half we made changes, uh, he brought off Pogba, obviously there's that massive Pogba-Jose thing which is helping no one at the club. Both of them won't be here next season, it's quite clear to see. Pogba doesn't want to be here regardless of who's in charge. Mourinho won't be here because of, well, the players just, yeah, they've given up for him. Um, well, I'm not saying he's blameless, by the way. That sounds as though I am, and I, I don't know. I love Jose Mourinho, and I'm gonna respect him when he does leave. Like, you know, I, I wanted him at the club. I genuinely thought he'd be the one to bring us back into the light. And maybe if he'd have came straight after Sir Alex Ferguson, he might have been. But <sighs> we're all wrong sometimes. But yeah, I wish him well when he eventually does go. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna sh uh, show any envy or whatever. Like he did win us a cup. Yes, I know Louis Van Gaal did. So maybe it's a little bit hypocritical. But he also won us a Euro uh, European uh, competition, uh, the Europa League, for the first time in our career, uh, in, well, the clubs, uh, I was going to say career, That's, I can't, well, why can't I think of the word, the, the history, my days, um, but yeah, and then obviously came second last season, which is the highest we finished under Ferguson, so he's certainly done best of the three, so I, I think he does uh, deserve respect, but anyhow, regardless, he's still at the club for now, of course. Um, but yeah, in the, in the second half, uh, Pogba was subbed off and then, uh, well, <laughs> a couple of other players as well, but Pogba obviously the one that is going to get the headlines. But uh, like 10 seconds after that from a corner, Rashford a lovely back heel, like brilliant. 
but even then like the players didn't really react on the pitch like there was no a surgeon like in previous games when we came back when uh, we came back against um, I think it was Southampton and uh, Man City uh, the, well particularly the Man City game there were, as soon as we scored there was a massive momentum shift we literally just went for it like hell for leather wasn't that today and uh, about five minutes later terrible terrible defending McTominay at fault but I mean he's a young lad playing in a position that he's just not used to so that you can't really blame him uh, Arnautovic left in like a full pitch worth of space like oh yeah it's just too much and easy finish nothing to hear can do like it's far too easy for them 3-1 and after that we didn't really look as though we were going to score before that there was a couple of half chances with Fellaini etc 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 but who the fuck gives a shit we lost 3-1 ultimately and uh, it's just not good enough it really isn't and as I say, it genuinely looks like the end for Mourinho. It's not a question of will Mourinho get sacked, it's when, unfortunately. We will now be 11 points off the top. Well, that's assuming Liverpool win. They do have Chelsea this weekend, so you know we might be nine points off if uh, you know City win or Chelsea win. Um, but yeah, it's at least eight anyway. And... Uh, we can't actually claw that back now. So Valencia next, then Newcastle, which I'm actually going to Old Trafford for. I'm really hoping it's not going to be as bad as this. And then a couple of weeks later, uh, we play Juventus. And again, I was lucky enough to get tickets for that with uh, Ronaldo's return. Regardless of what the result is, I'm sure I'll enjoy that one. But um, uh, it's just, it's horrible, man. I hate feeling like this, like disjointed with a club that I love. But... We're just going to have to see. We'll see how it pans out and uh, when Mourinho goes. Hopefully things get better.